Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daniela and today I am going to show you guys a full day of eating but this time I am trying to do it vegan. It's going to be a little bit hard for me. I've never done this before but I'm ready, I think. So I've been looking for a lot of recipes because I honestly really want to nourish my body in a better way. Some days I just don't feel very good after eating meat so I'm trying to make some changes in my diet to see how it goes for my body I'm not saying that I'm going to be vegan from now on but I just want to try and see how it feels I am going to share with you guys the meals that I have and yeah just the recipes and all of that and how I made them and my opinion on that and it will be great i hope you guys have fun with this video and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and the notification bell so you don't miss any other video from me so today is august the 9th and it's sunday so i usually spend the day with my family it's the only day that we get to be together so uh, they're gonna come with me because we are actually going to buy some clothes that it's going to be another video because clothes don't fit anymore and we're not gonna get mad or sad about it we're gonna be happy about it because that means that I'm making progress in my recovery and my body is getting to a healthier place and actually looking like a woman so I'm feeling very happy and excited about that. So for breakfast, I actually going to look for a pancake recipe because you guys know that on Sunday we eat pancakes. So I'm very excited about pancakes and I'm going to look for a vegan recipe so that I can have it. And yeah, I hope they are very yummy because I love pancakes and Okay, so we are here at the kitchen and I think I'm going to be doing a very simple banana pancake. Um, this just says like half a mashed banana with half a cup of flour, half a cup of plant milk and half a teaspoon of baking powder. So like no eggs, no egg whites. Let's see how it goes. In the meantime that I look for a recipe, I wanted to let you guys know that I really want to start making a lot of cooking videos. So I was seeing this trend about like fear foods, like eating your fear foods. And it's kind of like complicated for me because I don't really enjoy some of the things that are like a fear for you. And I mainly think that if it's your fear, the only way you can you can actually beat it is if you eat it you yourself and not seeing somebody else because you have done that before you have seen your mom your dad your boyfriend your friends eating those fear foods and you know it's not harmful and i know like it helps but i feel and i believe that it's better and it's more helpful or for me it was more helpful to see other girls eating normally like normal meals and like yeah sometimes eating pizza and ice cream and like enjoying it and knowing that it's like the balance and the overall lifestyle that matters and not like a single meal and not a single pizza because i feel like eating disorders are not about food they're actually not about food at all they're more about like my body and like control of my food intake and it's it's kind of like complicated but yeah
Okay, so taste test. I actually had a very hard time flipping them. It was extremely hard. I think it was because I put way too much liquid. I'm not sure how you guys flip vegan pancakes because I just couldn't. Like, it was so hard. They are very ugly. But I hide them. And then I made myself a latte with oat milk, which has been very good lately. So, yeah, it's really good. And I'm very excited about this breakfast. So, cheers for that. Right. I also wanted to make them like thick, but they were very flat. So if you guys have any advice on like vegan pancakes, I highly suggest you to just tell me about it because I want to make good vegan pancakes and this didn't turn out to be super good looking, but I'm going to try it. Tastes pretty good for me. So I give them mm, mm, like an 8.5 out of 10 just because I love banana and everything. So it's good for me. leaving we just spent here about like 30 minutes maybe but it's just because like you can't really try on anything and there's a bunch of people because today is Sunday so it's the lines are very very big and we don't want to spend here like hours just trying to get into a store two hours later hello so we are back from the store we actually didn't do as much as I wanted to, but I told you guys, everything was packed with people and we didn't want to be there for longer. So right now it's uh, 2.16 and I'm gonna start doing lunch. Um, this is my favorite kind of rice. So I am going to make some jasmine rice with some black beans. So kind of like a chipotle bowl, like a vegan one. And I'm excited. I am going to put some avocado on that. And I'm going to try and make like a little sauce with this yogurt. It's the vegan kite heel. I think it's made out of almonds. And I think I tried it one time like a few years ago. And I didn't like it as much. But I'm going to put some condiments on that. So maybe probably I'll like it. So I'll show you guys how I make it. I'm not going to tell you guys how I make this lunch because I think it's pretty self-explanatory but I did want to talk a little bit more about my recovery so far. Um, being away from the gym has been the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> it's really hard to just not exercise and not do stuff with my body and I think it's mainly because I am very lonely right now. I spend a day at home and if i don't really go to the gym i just don't do anything else i don't see people i don't see people my age so i think it's more for my mental health than my physical health right now i'm just trying to live my best life i i'm just trying to be the best version of myself my biggest dream is to inspire others to nourish themselves and learn how to love themselves and i do know that i first need to work on my own recovery and that's what i'm trying to do i'm trying to learn how to listen to my body how to move the way my body wants to move and it's going to be a long process but i really want to get it done for my snack i actually enjoy it a lot i've been eating these peanut snacks from trader joe's that i really really like 
Um, they have like a mild flavor, but they are very good. And I also made a smoothie with some vegan protein powder, vanilla flavor, with some mango, strawberries, almond milk, and I top it up with some sunflower seeds. Hello, we're back at the kitchen and tonight it's 7.06 and I actually went to the store and bought this Beyond Burger plant-based patties and it's been a while since I want to try these burgers and I finally bought them so I'm very excited. People say that they're extremely good so I really really wanted to try it for a long time and I am going to be using Dave's Killer Buns which are new and they are really good so we're gonna do burgers for dinner and I will let you guys know how they go and if they taste good or not I think one of the main reasons why I didn't try this burgers before was because I was scared of it. I always look at the nutritional value of the food, even if I don't want to. There, It's just something that I just do all the time and it's like a habit that I want to break. But before this, I was just scared because this is high in fat, high in calories and it's just a single patty. But I just challenged myself. I decided to do it and I did it and it was really good. Your eating disorder may say to you that you don't like that food when in reality you're just afraid of that. So you can do this. If I did, you can too. And I swear I'm gonna keep challenging myself and if you need any support, I'll be here. You can talk to me, you can DM me and it'll be great we're in this together and we can totally beat this and be happy this is how the burger looks it actually impressed me a lot because it actually smelled like it when I was cooking it so I am curious about how it tastes so Guys, this is actually really, really good. The only thing that bothered me a lot was that it was very oily on the pan. And that was some of the things that I hated about like cooking beef, but it's okay, whatever. It tastes really good. This is how it looks like on the inside. And you could actually see like the red parts and it was weird. And it's kind of like weird to taste this, but it is really good actually. I'm very happy about it. I also made like some sweet potato fries on the air fryer because I love them. They're my favorite. So yeah, and I put some ketchup and mustard on my burger and I'm going to eat this. And I'll see you guys if I have a snack. I, I don't know yet. It's like 7.41. I'll see if I get hungry later. But for now, this will be it. And I loved it. I love to be vegan for a day. It was really good. I am impressed. So catch you guys later if I eat something else, but this is definitely a 10 out of 10. Definitely try it if you can. Okay, so this is going to be everything for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really enjoy it. And I was very surprised because I did not expect to feel like this. I actually thought that like eating vegan and eating plant-based was going to be like hard for me because I feel like sometimes protein makes me feel satisfied after my meals, but after lunch, I was really impressed that I was not hungry at all. I was actually very full. Um, I also realized that when you eat vegan, you have to eat even more to get to your protein and you have to eat even more to actually get the nutrients that you need to take in. And I realized that when you eat vegan, you actually eat a lot of carbs and that gives you a lot of energy. 
because today the whole day I was extremely full of energy and I liked it. I actually didn't expect to feel like light as I felt um, so I am very happy about that because sometimes after my meals I will feel heavy on my stomach and like weird I don't know and today was not the case so I'm very happy and from now on I am going to be implementing more of like vegan meals and vegan days where I am going to eat totally vegan for days or meals and I am definitely going to do this more often if you guys have any recipe that you want me to try please leave a comment below saying what kind of recipe because I know for this day I didn't plan anything so I didn't know what recipes I could make so I just went by how I felt like but I really want to try your favorite recipe so if you want to leave a comment below I'll try to do it for the next time or any suggestion for the next what I did in a day will be gladly appreciated um, Thank you so much again and I'll see you guys on the next one and please don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and see you in the next video. Bye.